Hello and welcome to a new video of Mostly Engineering and the start of the Enigma project where I plan to replicate an Enigma ciphering machine. And the idea to replicate an Enigma machine, at least for me, is a very, very old one. So when I was 16, 17 years old, we had to write something called a Seminarfacharbeit in school, what is basically a scientific paper. So the idea behind it is that when you then go to university, that you have already an idea how it is to write scientifically. And I wanted to write about cryptography, coding, cipher machines, and so on and so forth. And the idea was to build an Enigma machine, uh, to demonstrate uh, the methods and also document the process. And I mean, uh, how hard can it be to uh, build an Enigma machine? It's a um, base, it's a light bulb, it's a battery connected by a switch. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, um, that was 16 uh, year old uh, me thinking. And considering that 16 year old me didn't know that really a milling machine or a lathe exists. Um, yeah, very hard. Uh, in some other people would might say impossible to pull off. And yeah, I never found out because an uh, even more impossible task was to find other people uh, to write the scientific paper because it had to be a group effort and no one else was interested in cartography. So that uh, never really happened. Now, f about 15 years passed and now I have a Master of Engineering. I work in prop uh, making, model making for film, special effects. And now I know how a life, uh, a life exists. I know that the milling machines exist. And I also know how to use them. Not perfectly. I'm not a machinist after all, but good enough that I can produce the parts I want. And to um, further my skills on these machines, I created or I'm in a process of creating a puzzle box and, or escape room in a box, however you want to call it. And this one is Enigma themed, so code breaking uh, at Bletchley Park. And one of the components that's already finished is this uh, little rotor for the Enigma machine. Looks quite beautiful, I have to say. I'm actually proud of myself. And this will be a central part of the puzzle box. And by the way, when the puzzle box is in a state where I'm reasonably comfortable that I can produce it, there will be a Kickstarter and I will let you know about it. But uh, the only problem that this rotor at the moment has um, well, the only problem that it has is that the clamp assignment here, that the clamp is way uh, too wobbly. And this is because I made it out of uh, polycarbonate. And it really has to be spring steel. And the problem with spring steel is that with the capabilities we have in our prop shop, it's... Uh, and the precision and fidelity we, I need for uh, this spring it's impossible for me to manufacture. So I have to outsource it. And outsourcing, as always with this parts, as more parts you uh, order, as cheaper the individual part gets for the most part. But this got me thinking about how to in uh, increase the part number I need reasonably. And therefore I came back to the idea of building an Enigma machine. And for, first of all, to satisfy 16-year-old uh, me and also uh, to have a machine to document the process, to have a machine then for example, uh, for movies, for uh, lectures, museums, that you can actually uh, show and use and let uh, people, for example, a bunch of school kids that they can use uh, the machine and that's much more engaging and uh, learning about these topics than just having a picture of a machine and 
talking about how it works or having the machine uh, behind glass, but of course you will never ever do this uh, with an original machine because if something breaks and uh, let enough people play with something, it will break. Uh, with an original machine, uh, a little bit of history would be lost and with a replica, you just replace a part and it's no big harm done. Also, in order to demonstrate it, you would need a machine that works and original machines that are still in working order are exceedingly rare because uh, first like 70, uh, 80 years are past and second of all, it's the slightest chance that uh, the machine get into enemy hands or when the Germans had to retreat, the first order of business was to destroy uh, the machines and all the coding papers and so on and so forth. So um, most original machines you find now are more or less uh, destroyed and kind of restoring them back to working order would be again uh, erasing a lot of uh, the original machine's uh, history and uh, we don't do this anymore in restoration. So that's basically the idea behind uh, the project to uh, replicate uh, Enigma machine and take you on the journey with me. So I guess I talked uh, enough for this video and so thanks for watching. If you have questions, if you have comments, just let them uh, down below and I try to answer them as quickly and correctly as possible. And all that's left to say now is thanks for watching and see you at the next time. Bye bye.